This is Drake Andrew Hardman, was born on May 26, 2009. Drake was an incredibly loved by his family, loved sports, and such kind of spirit. Drake just wanted to be friends with everyone. Drake had the biggest blue eyes. Sadly, Drake had been experiencing bullying at school. His bully would pick on him for every little thing. But despite this, Drake desperately tried to be friends with his bully. Drake's school and Drake's parents were aware and his bully had been previously suspended for bullying Drake. On Monday, Drake had come home with a black eye Confide in his sister that the bully had hurt him. Two days later, February 9th, 2022, the oldest sister found him in his room with his favorite hoodie on, hanging from the bunk bed. His father immediately started CPR until the paramedics took over 15 minutes later. His heart started beating, but the damage had already been done. On February 10th, 2022, Drake passed away surrounded by family. He was 12 years old. Now it says, after his death, his family started raising awareness for suicide and bullying. Drake will be forever remembered as the loving boy with a kind heart. Why would you wait till after your child is dead to bring awareness to bullying when you and the school both know that your son is being bullied? There is no reason on this planet for this child to have felt this way if his parents were loving. No reason in the world that this poor child had to be had to feel this alone in a house full of family members. People nowadays are just so worried about what's going on in their own life and their own agenda to pay attention what's going on in their children's life. People nowadays, first thing they want to do is to either medicate the child or give the child a cell phone or a tablet so that way they don't have to deal with the child or help raise the child. That is the biggest problem also nowadays because children don't know how to deal with the emotions that they feel because their parents are not paying attention to them and helping them go through this part of their life that is really hard for them. And people as adults forget what it's like to be a child at that age and what it's like for your hormones to be raging and for your emotions to be hypersensitive. The segment also said it, that he was surrounded by family members that loved him. That child felt abandoned. How do you love something that you abandon? If that child had felt the love that they said was there, he would not have felt that abandonment. He would not have done what he did. He would not have felt alone. I can't stress enough. There is no reason on this planet for that child to feel that way, to have felt that way. It is the parent's responsibility to protect that child. No matter what it takes to protect that child, whatever extreme measures they must do to protect that kid, that is their job. They had that child. They are the parent. They are the teacher. When all else fails, they are the last line of defense for that child and for any other child. In this world, the parents are the last form of defense. It is their job to make sure 
That child does not feel alone like that, no matter whose child it is. No child in the world should feel that alone to where they must do that because their parents are ignoring them and not taking care of them. You don't, if you're watching your kids, you can't miss the signs because the kids give off signs that tell you there's something wrong in their life. If you're not too busy trying to get your attention off social media that you think you deserve, you will see all the warning signs that the children produce. And you will know what's going on in that child's life. There's no excuse to say, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> then you wasn't the proper parent. You do know. You can see it. They act out the different little acting out that they do. Different little things. You can see it. And the number one cause of those acting outs nowadays is social media. There is no reason for a child under 16 to be on any kind of social media whatsoever. None. Just because you wanted to have a kid and not raise it, that's not fair to the child. You shouldn't just hand them a phone or a tablet and let social media raise them or technology raise them. That is your job to do that.